Hello everyone, my name is Jordan, also known as X-3. So for today, for Triple Threat Thursday, instead of deciding to do three growls, I decided to have a little bit of fun, and I've actually discovered two synths that actually really make the cut, and one of them is a lowered effects, so that way it will start to complement the track. Take a listen to the arcade machine, the Twitter, sound that I made and the lowered growl. Okay, so here is what the arcade synth is composed of. A combinator and a maelstrom along with a pulverizer and some effects. Other than that though, I'm going to go over to my first oscillator and it's going to be a square. What I'm going to do with this square is throw it up one octave so we can get a little bit higher frequencies with this. And I'm also going to take up my release to about halfway, so about 64 for that. So that way it kind of leaves a trail behind. I'm going to throw up my decay all the way along with my sustain. And for this synth, I'm going to go on over to my mod A. I want to take this to a square. And I'm going to set the rate on synced. Throw it up all the way. Same thing for your pitch, but for your shift, you want to take that all the way down. If that's a little fast for you, you can always take it down to 1 16th. If you want to create this a little bit louder and finalize the synth, throw on a pulverizer, turn your squash about a quarter. After this, you want to throw on a stereo imager, take off your low band all the way to mono, and turn up your wide on your high a little bit to 26. After this, you want to throw on a BV512 digital vocoder and set it to equalize mode. What this does, it creates a filter, but it just opens up the filter depending on if you have positive or negative. So I want to throw it up to 36 positive. I want to throw on a Scream 4 distortion, turn it to tube. Or actually, I'm sorry, I actually take it down to digital. I take my P1 down to 82 or up to 82. And P2, I take that to around 89. Take that to 96 instead to get more clarity. I take the damage to about 36. And then what I do is I throw on a maximizer. If it's still a little low, you can always turn up the squash and you can always turn up your Scream 4 Master. So that's basically it for this synth. I'll check you guys out here in a second for the other sounds. Okay. So now I'm going to show you guys how to create this uh, Twitter sound. We're going to have a listen to it first. In order to create the Twitter sound, what you need to have is a combinator first. Create everything nice and tidy. In this combinator, I want to create a maelstrom. And for the first oscillator, I want to change it to a bottle found in wind. For this bottle, I'm going to take it up two octaves, or actually one. And I'm going to take the motion and the index to a specific spot. So for the motion, take it down to negative 33. So that way it starts at a lower position, but then slowly builds up to it. 
the index, I think I take it at the middle, and that is at 64. That's pretty cool. I'm going to route this to Shaper, and I'm going to make sure that my filter A is turned on. You can turn off filter B, it's not necessary. For filter A, I'm going to turn up my comb positive to about 108. And the resonance can go up about 89 or 90. This creates a very high and faint sound. But what we're going to do is use our mod B to use it kind of like a trigger. So for the curve type, I take it to curve 18. I set the rate to, let's see, I set the rate to 1 fourth. So let's create sync and 1 fourth. And we're also going to take the volume all the way up. So that way it only comes in for this sound. We're not quite done. We need to take our filter value to negative 28. Now, if you can't hear it correctly, all we need to do is change the filter frequency from this to 106 and this to about 87. Turn on your key keyboard follow. And there you have your Twitter sound. Throw on a pulverizer. Turn up your squash a little bit more than 23 so it compresses the sound. And for the overall saturation of this, we're going to throw on a stereo imager. Take the low band all the way to mono and the high band pretty, pretty high, so about 37 for that. I want to throw on a Scream 4 to give it some distortion. I want to take the damage down to about 36. We don't want this too loud. Let's set it to a tube type. P1 is at 86 and P2 is probably about 40. Then I throw on a maximizer. I take it off limiter, put release to auto, turn on soft clip and set the amount to full. And that's your Twitter sound. I'll check you guys out here in another second to create the low growl. Okay, so this is what the lowered growl sounds like with the drums. In order to achieve that lowered growl, we first must have a combinator, keep everything nice and tidy like a sandwich. Inside this sandwich, we're gonna throw in Maelstrom. Maelstrom is kind of like the sand for the sandwich. We're going to take our oscillator A all the way up to throat, which is in voice. And what I'm going to do is take my motion all the way down so it can't go anywhere. <coughs> So it's a static note that we can play with. For our mod A, I want to take this to a rising up, so curve 10 for that. I take the rate of this mod to 108. It's important that I take it to this number because any above or lower won't allow the keys to ring out long enough before starting again. So 108 for that, and I want to take everything down. And that's the sound. But what I do is I throw a shaper on it, so I'm going to route it to the shaper. And I turn up my shaper to about 35, and I set it to a quant. So it starts off lower than usual. I also take off my filter A so it can breathe more. And I also throw on a Scream 4. That's basically the sound that we've given our synth. 
So other than this, I'm going to take my damage down to about 39. I take it to a tube type, turn up P1 all the way, and P2, let's set this to about 90. It kind of clarifies it a bit, but I want this synth to be more wide. So I'm going to throw on an RV7000 Advanced Reverb. And the preset that I use for the reverb is a basic plate spread. So let's choose all plate spread. Where are you? There we go. I take the dry wet down to about more than a quarter, so about 27 for that. And I leave everything else where it is. Throw on your pulverizer, turn up your squash to 34, and throw on your maximizer. Take it off limiter, put on soft clip, release amount to auto, and soft clip at 127. And that's your rising down synth. If you want to get the exact keys that I'm using, I use C1. And I'm also using D1. So that's the keys to get that sent. And I'll check you guys out tomorrow for Info Friday on some of the newest and upcoming loops, synth, patches, and what have you in the musical world. Thanks for following me, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a good one, and yeah, I'm going to try and keep the happiness and fun up so that way I can create more awesome stuff for you guys. Take care and have a good one. Peace. Jordan, also known as X-3. So for Triple Threat Thursday, along with the three synthesizer growls, I'm going to be probably doing something new and different for this channel. I'm going to do my best to start recording some video games. If it doesn't uh, work out too well, then I will resort. Um, I'm going to change it up, you know. It's, uh, it's about time I started to really enforce my ideas and what I like to do because for the past couple years I haven't been doing that and so for this time and this video and for the next I don't know whenever then it's just gonna be fun and what I like to do from here on out so yeah thanks for following um, thanks for watching